Hello. Hi. Welcome to the new residence hall. I'm Chuck Mann, the Vice President for Finance. Nice to meet you. I'm Sam Williams, the uh, Chairman of the Presidential Advisory Committee. Glad to have you here. I'm happy to show you around the new building. Great, thanks. Uh, on this side here will be two elevators that will service the building. And here will be a main stairwell or staircase that will be used for the whole building as well. On the right, what will be here? You've now entered into the honor suite. The honor suite will be divided into three sections. Over here will be the offices for the honor suite on the other side of that wall. The area that we're standing in right now is the lounge space for the honors. And then there'll be an area over here that's more of a classroom, a multi-purpose room for the uh, honor program. They also will have their own entrance from here, from the outside into the building, as well as an entrance here from inside the building. On the left here is the main lounge for the building. There'll be lots of soft seating, couches, chairs, tables. They will open up into a covered patio that will be facing towards Memorial Hall and a new quad that we are building out on that side. At this area here is the uh, kitchen. This will be a showcase kitchen with a bar across here. Uh, that will, the students can use to prepare food and uh, still commingle with their friends. What other types of rooms are on the first floor? Okay, well over here on your left is the laundry room that will service the building. Okay. And then down here is another multi-purpose room that will be used for everything from lectures, classroom, uh, yoga, whatever the students want to use it for. It will be here for that purpose. And is this an honors only multi-purpose room? No, this here honors? is for the all the students. Interesting. And for the entire institution. And again, this room will also open out to the covered patio. Okay, we are entering from where the elevators and the main stairs are into the second floor. Across here is a glass wall that will look into a lounge. Uh, the lounge will have some type of, of uh, gaming equipment, a pool table, ping pong table, game table, TV, lots of lounge furniture, uh, and then views out to the quad and to the campus. Okay. Is this the only lounge in the building or is every floor on its own? Every floor from two through five is laid out exactly the same. So every floor from two through five has a lounge, has a study room, and has the uh, two study nooks at the end of each hall. Very nice. We're now entering into a suite. The suite has a living room space. Uh, there'll be a room for a couch, a TV, a couple of chairs in this area. There's a small breakfast bar that will come across here for a microwave, refrigerator. Um, behind here is the restroom. Okay. There's two components to it. Uh, there's two sinks that go in here, the shower at the end here, and the toilet on the other side. Inside the room, there are two bedrooms, one on this side with two beds, and one on this side with two beds. So what's the layout of one of these bedrooms in a suite? The suite uh, bedrooms will allow for two beds, two desks, two desk chairs, two dressers, and then on each end here are the closets. And will it be the same furniture as in the current dorms or will it be new furniture? New furniture, all new furniture. So we're entering the uh, semi-suite. The semi-suite has two bedrooms. On the left over here is part of the bathroom. This would be the shower area. We have two sinks right here and then the toilet on that side. So how does a semi-suite differ from a normal suite? The difference between a semi-suite and a suite is that the semi-suite does not have that lounge space or living room space in between. Okay. But both still have access to bathrooms inside the room? Yes. Every, build, every space in this building has um, where the students will share within a suite or a semi-suite will share their own bathroom. So there is never a situation where you would have more than four people sharing one bathroom. And the bathrooms are set up so that there are four different fixtures at, at any time. So again, you've got the toilet, you have two sinks and a shower, thereby the students can share. No one student is taking all of the, the bathroom facility right. at one time. There is a study lounge 
There's a study lounge on every floor. You come into the study lounge on your left over here will be an area for printers. There'll be a glass wall across here. And then in here will be tables and chairs, a whiteboard, and then all the connections for AV for a student to study with. At the end of each hallway is a study nook, a little bump out area where students will be able to sit in a window and read or study in those areas as well. This is the view from the quad side of the second floor of the building from one of the suites that we toured. This is the view from the fifth floor study room where you can see the uh, miniature quad for the building as, as well as the, uh, the rest of the grass amphitheater and the uh, athletic field. This is a view from the fifth floor suite that's closest to the chapel and it gives you a view of, of the chapel and of the quad. This is the view from a fifth floor suite facing away from the quad, but it gives you a view of the mountains on both the left and right. And you can see downtown Frederick, the clustered spires coming up over the hospital.